so happy you could join me again on this beautiful day. Hope it's a beautiful day wherever you're at. What I got here is a pre-stretch canvas 16 by 20. What I do is I spray painted it with regular paint you can get from any store. A green color first. Then I thought I would put a thin coat of liquid clear on which helps the oil paint stick a lot better and goes on a lot smoother and easier with the wet on wet technique that I'm about to do today. Today I thought I'd maybe do some flowers since uh, that's what I've been doing lately. So maybe we'll have some maybe some blues and purples different types of flowers here. So any information and all the colors you'll need to paint along with me will come across the screen again right about here. And I want to thank everybody for joining me, all my subscribers, and everybody that's viewed me up to this point. I'm trying to keep things interesting and doing different things. So let's get started. I'm going to start out with this brush here. It's got a chop in on the, the tip here. What I'm going to do is load it up with some liquid clear because a thin paint sticks to a thick paint every time. And let's see. Oh, let's go into maybe some purples, maybe. A little bit of purple. Start doing some, making maybe some vines. brush off. I use odorless paint thinner, which is always a good thing. Same thing, load it right up. Just here and there. Start into some purples. And maybe we'll have one flower right here. Just like that. twisting it. Coming to a point. Maybe, maybe we'll leave that one just like that. Come into some more purple. put a bigger one down here. Just going from the center, going around. And leaving that little piece right there in the middle. Now I'll go into some more scissoring crimson, make it more of a reddish. Maybe we'll have something right here. Right to the center. 
kind of gives you your little piece there in the middle. Maybe we can put a bigger one down here. This one would be purple, this one would be the going up. Maybe we'll have this one just be a smaller one there. some of that off. Go back into the purples, more purpley. Continue on with this one here. Right there. There. Come up. Push. a little lighter back there. Got a little bit of breaks in there, like in here. Now, let's put some leafies. Vines, leaves. Guess we we'll use some of this. 
maybe some white. Just gonna press, come to a point. leaf out here. coming out. This 
say we'll have some bigger ones. down here there might be more just hasn't quite bloomed yet.
just a bit. So we'll come in here. Got that look over it where it covers it up. Grab some purple. off again. Pick up some green. A little bit of green. Make a little line there. Make some leaves in here, I think. You can just keep going, adding, adding little leaves and vines.
Got some leaves happening down there. It's kind of like all over. get some shadow. Maybe where some light light is hitting it. Here and there. Maybe there's 
one out here. Just on the top. Just on the ridge. shadows would be underneath. Underneath on some. You can just keep going along. People like to use their initials. I also like to put the year that it was painted. So you can always go back and reflect on it and see your progress. I hope you enjoyed this one. I did teach you how to make some leaves and some basic little flowers. Do some shadowing on them. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you come back and visit me. Have a nice day.